Thank you everyone for joining us here uh, this afternoon or late this morning, depending upon where you may be uh, within North America. Uh, this is Chris Harley with Data Basics, and uh, it's just about one o'clock here in Eastern time, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, the purpose of our presentation today, as you guys can see, is seven ways of Data Basics is simplifying expense reporting for Ceridian customers in seven minutes. Uh, it's part of our quick and easy webinar series that's put on by Data Basics in an attempt to not take too much of your individual time and to give you some high level details as far as how we're able to go out and support customers these days. Uh, we do have some more in-depth presentations and webinars out there. So if you're looking for something that may cover a demo or something that may be more than just a seven or eight minute period, there are opportunities to sign up for those. But for today, we're not gonna take too much of your time Again, my name is Chris Harley. I'm the Vice President of Sales here at Data Basics. And really the agenda that I was looking to cover here was to give, for those of you who aren't familiar with Data Basics, a quick background on who we are, and then really jump right into the seven key areas where we're seeing Ceridian customers gaining some simplification and advantages with the Data Basics offering. Uh, for those of you that, that aren't uh, familiar with Data Basics, uh, we've been providing expense reporting solutions here for about 20 years. Our first web solutions came to market in 1997. As you look at some of the advancements we've made and some of the areas where we continue to change, about 10 years ago, we made the transition from a traditional licensed software to a software service model. And today, the solutions are provided 100% in a cloud-based environment. We are a third-party product out there, so as we talk about our relationship with Ceridian, Everything that you're looking at today is a data basics functionality, um, but we will certainly talk to how we're able to work within the Ceridian environment. Our mobile apps were launched about five years ago, and that's gonna be a big component as we talk about some of the advantages you're able to gain within the solution. And then two years ago, we brought to market OCR for receipt imaging. This is a technology which allows organizations, or I should say allows users within organizations to quickly get data off of receipts and into our application. Uh, today, the focus is on Ceridian and how we're helping Ceridian customers. We've been a Ceridian Dayforce partner going on two years now. Uh, and for those of you that were at the Insights Conference in Las Vegas, we actually won an award this year as it relates to our innovation. And as we look at the future, really the next step is going to be looking at AI and how we can use artificial intelligence to streamline the process. But for most of you, I know the focus today is on the seven items that we can do to improve the process. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first area that we always talk about in improving user process is really through mobile apps. Uh, today, the demands and the expectations for expense reporting is not only on automation, but the idea that a user should be able to access and do everything from their mobile solution, whether that be a phone or a tablet out there. And from that perspective, what we look to do is to provide quick and easy access anywhere. That access can be done from entry as well as for approvals. It will also leverage the ability to take pictures and digitize receipts and pull them into the application. And really the big component of mobile apps these days is that they must be full featured. Uh, you must be able to have the ability for a user to do everything that he or she needs to do, whether that means catching, uh, capturing provincial taxes within Canada or the ability to capture per diems. Everything should be able to work within the mobile app. Now, as we talk about our Ceridian relationship, the big area that companies are looking to leverage is our ability to integrate with Dayforce. And typically, as we look at the Dayforce integration, it is a bi-directional interface. That means we're going to give the ability for a user or an organization to set up their users within Dayforce, the approvers in Dayforce, and that data would flow over into our application. And then what we're gonna do is for the reimbursement side, push all that data back into Dayforce to allow the reimbursement to show up on the pay step. Now, there are some other options as it relates to reimbursements, but as we look at what we provide Dayforce customers, certainly is a bi-directional feed of data. Now, the other component, uh, which would not be necessarily related specifically to Ceridian, is that we would always look to have our application also integrated into a customer's accounting system where there may be some push and a pulling of data as it relates to the GL structure and what's taking place on the accounting side. Now, as we talk about integration into Ceridian, that would be one of the key components as we look at bi-directional interfaces there with Dayforce. But then there's also some other areas of pre-population of data and other areas where we, we may be pushing information. The application is a global solution. So whether we're talking about 
uh, individuals traveling between the U.S. and Canada. That would certainly be supported, but also as we go beyond North America, all of global currencies would be pre-populated. Tax calculations are pre-populated. Credit card feeds are pre-populated, as well as booking and travel data. So we would look for as much third-party information to be loaded into our solution to, again, streamline that process and make it easier and simpler for the user as he or she goes out to create their expense report. Now, beyond the simple population of data and streamlining, the next area of simplification and advantages comes into notifications and alerts. And so as we look at where those notifications take place, typically we're going to see things like making sure approvers are getting their expense reports approved, making sure that any sort of correction or errors that are there that are notified and visible to the end user, the ability to go ahead and pull credit card information and to make sure users recognize there are credit card transactions there. And then, of course, real-time status updates. So if I'm a user and my manager has a question about a particular expense report and I'm on the road, it's nice that I can be notified that I have a question or a additional details that need to be provided for me, and I can go ahead and quickly get that into the solution. Now, as we talked about mobile apps earlier, one of the advantages that mobile apps do provide is that most of them within the individual solution have some sort of GPS location device. We can use that GPS location device to go out and do automatic calculation of per diem, so we recognize where the user is. We also can do that for mileage and kilometer tracking, depending upon where the user is. And within that mileage tracking, we also have the ability to support requirements, whether we're talking about Canadian employees, U.S. employees, or even individuals throughout the world as we look at the different requirements out there. But the neat thing with the GPS functionality is it will certainly pick that information up. Now, beyond being able to get the GPS, what phones also offer is obviously the ability to take pictures of receipts. And with the picture of receipt, not only are we able to digitize and have a copy of the picture, but our application will also go out and OCR that information. So if we're looking at a receipt from a Starbucks or some other establishment, the user can take a picture, we will actually read that data right off of that receipt and go ahead and pre-populate that into the expense report. And in the event your users are actually using corporate credit cards, we can also go ahead and match that data up. So as we look at leveraging the mobile device, it's not only going to give people access everywhere, it's going to be able to use geolocations for per diems. And then the last thing we can do is leverage our OCR technology along with the receipt capture to push that data into the application. So as we get to kind of the last piece here, uh, what we're going to kind of do is change the focus and get away from some of the streamlining on the user entry side. And really the last piece is looking at what we're able to do on the analytics side. One of the things that our application will provide Dayforce customers is real-time access to information. That real-time access and that real-time information gives you the ability to see any transaction or process as it relates to approvals. It gives you that ability to set information real-time, and it also gives you the ability to have that information scheduled and pushed out to individual users. These pre-canned reports that come within the system include things like credit card reconciliation and others. And so for uh, organizations, certain people looking for a certain piece of data, you don't need to go ahead and call the accounting and finance group to go ahead and provide those details. Rather, our application will go ahead and push that information out to you. So with that, I'm just about about the uh, eight minute mark here. And so our time is up. As I mentioned, we were going to keep this fairly brief out there. But as we look at seven ways to make expense reporting better, what we've listed here are a number of different components out there that we're able to assist organizations with. So first and foremost, being able to provide users access anywhere through mobile apps, ability to tightly integrate this with Ceridian and then other accounting processes within your organization. And then, of course, as we look at what we're able to do from a population of data, notifications, and then leveraging some of the advanced functionalities within your individual mobile devices. I want to thank everyone for joining us here today. If you do have any questions, uh, you do have the ability within the GoToWebinar tool on the right side. If you open that up, you can certainly go ahead and uh, ask a question. What I will do is make sure that a resource from databasics gets back to you with the answers to the specific questions. And what I'll also be able to do is you'll have my contact details there. As I mentioned, databasics does provide some more in-depth webinars where we can go into specifics as it relates to the actual demo of the, of the solution. Or if as your organization you guys would like to have a specific 
uh, or tailored demo for what you guys are doing, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach me specifically, uh, as you'll see my email address is there, or you can reach out to Data Basics in general at info at data hyphen basics. With that, I'd like to thank everyone for giving us uh, some time here today, and we look forward to talking to you soon. And again, if you do ask any questions there, I will make sure that someone gets back to you within the next uh, couple hours with an answer there for your question. Thanks, and have a great day.